We're gonna combine a fish photo and a bird photo in one new environment. Hey there, my name is Ali. The photos we're gonna use in this tutorial are gonna be linked below in the description. You can download them and follow along. We'll start off by pulling our first photo, which is this one. I like to stick to a crop ratio 4x5. I guess this one is already 4x5. Okay. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna get rid of this boat. It's using the clone stamp tool. I'm gonna make sure it's like in a proper size, a little bit bigger than the boat itself. Then I'm gonna hold Alt and Sample from here and I'm gonna get rid of this. It's not perfect like that, it's okay, but I'm gonna make it actually better. You can use a low opacity, make sure it's only current layer, and sample from the left, then sample from the right, like that it's gonna be better. Okay, but then I'm gonna stick to a, a little bit higher opacity. Because we're gonna place the fish in the middle anyway, so it's not gonna do much difference. Okay, let's drag the fish now. I'm gonna drag it in a different window. Then I'm gonna use the quick selection tool, make sure it's in a proper size, something like that. And then I'm just gonna make a selection around this fish. Okay, if it's not perfect, we can always fix it later. So if, if something like that happens, just go Control Z. I'll make it smaller. Okay, again happened. Control Z. Again. Okay, it's not like working. It doesn't. It's not smart enough. So I'm just gonna add a layer mask. Then I'm gonna press Control I. So I have now the opposite of what I want. However, using the brush, I'm gonna use a like. A, sharp brush if you paint with white over the mask you're gonna bring back i want to bring back that tail it's missing then i'm gonna take the la polygonal lasso tool and just very like slowly i'm just gonna make a selection around the tail something like that then i'm gonna stand on the layer mask using the black color just alt backspace to paint with black then i'm gonna do the same at this area something like that Also gonna get rid of the hands because we're gonna replace them with wings. So what's the point of keeping them? But I'll pack space to paint. We have here some missing parts as you can see, so I'm just gonna select that. And instead of alt backspace painting white, I'm gonna press control backspace to paint with black to bring back what's missing. Same here, some parts are missing, so control backspace to bring them back. And now this one. Alt backspace and let's pull this one to our other photo. Okay, let's adjust its size by Control T like that. Then let's get rid of like the rest of using black. Oh, make sure you're on the layer mask, of course, not on the layer itself. Okay, so now we have our fish. Size, I wanted something big like that. Now it's time to add like the wings. I'm gonna take this photo, put it here on top. This photo I'm gonna use only for selection, as you can see. I'm gonna lower its opacity so I can see what's behind. Something like that. Okay. Now this photo, I wanna get rid of the white, so I'm gonna take the magic wand tool, make sure it's a bit high tolerance. Okay, now we have a problem. I only want to target the white. I don't want to get rid of the like the wings because they are light gray. So I'm gonna lower the tolerance and press. Okay, but here we have like some problem in this part. So even lower and press. Okay, now it's good here and there. Let me rasterize the layer. Then let's press delete. Okay, good enough. Now all I want is, let's remove this part, sorry, I'm just gonna remove this part. We only want the wings, you know, even the head, we don't want it. 
I'm doing this so I can get a better like view. Now I'm done with it. Okay, I'm just gonna press Control click, close that layer, add a new layer, and just paint with any color I have, then get rid of this layer. So now we have just the wings outline. Let me place it. Mm, I guess here is the best place to have it. Always look here on top to see the overall look in the navigator menu. Okay, so now I wanna use this selection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fish, I'm gonna alt click it. So I have a new copy of it. I'm just gonna make sure I'm applying layer mask. So now I have a new copy. I need to use the fish texture to fill the wings. So I'm gonna place it, let's say something like that. Also, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because the wings are more far away than the fish. Then I'm gonna use the clone stamp. I'm gonna clone stamp, oh, make sure it's 100%. I'm gonna clone stamp some of the texture. I just wanna make sure I'm covering the wings. Okay, so now I covered it here. Let's copy this one here. And let's make sure we're also covering it. Okay, so now we got the whole wings covered. Let's check these two layers. Right click and merge layers. And let me control click the wings and let's add a layer mask. Let's close that layer. Let's put this one below the fish. So now we have the fish and the wings. Let's take these two layers and let's try putting them into soft light. Okay, as you can see, soft light is good, but we have a problem here of overlapping. So I wanna delete the parts of the wing below the fish itself. So I'm just gonna control click, make a selection of the fish, stand on the wing, make sure I'm on black color and just paint to get rid of it. So now we have the wings separate and we have the fish itself separate. Okay, let's lower the opacity of these a little bit so they blend better with the water. One final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dodge and burn the wings. Make sure you're on mid-tones. Let's go a very higher number, for example. And these wings, naturally, they have curves. So whenever it's going up, I'm gonna add brighten it by, by holding Alt. If you're on burn and you hold Alt, you make things brighter. It's going brighter like that. Let me go 100. If you're on burn and you, you click something by holding alt, it goes brighter. If you don't hold alt, it goes darker. So I'm just creating some like lines and bumps in the wings. You see this wing from this wing. This one looks like it's having some bumps in it. And let's do the same in the opposite side. This is actually important because if you don't do it, it looks so flat. Not like nice. And there we go. If you can see much better with the bumps and it's time to edit like the whole thing together. So first I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to pull up the blacks, pull down the shadows and make the bright parts even brighter. Then I'm going to add another curves adjustment layer. This time I'm going to make everything brighter. However, I want this to only target the part in the middle. So I'm going to press control I. Now it's invisible. Now, whenever I paint, with white, it's gonna be visible. I'm just making sure it's that's too strong, so I'm just gonna lower the opacity and I'm just gonna paint here in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same but opposite. I'm gonna make everything darker, then I'm gonna press Ctrl I so it's invisible. Sorry, I'm just gonna leave it as it is, but I'm gonna paint with black in the middle to get rid of it. In the middle and leave it like on the edges so you see these two they brought focus to the middle if they are too strong just lower their opacity a little bit 
Okay, now I'm gonna press Control Alt Shift E. This will merge everything into a new separate layer. I can go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter now, and edit the whole image together. I like to go to the FX module. I add a little bit of vignette. Vignette is basically a black circle around the photo. A little bit of vignette. The dehaze, you can make everything like less foggy or more foggy. So I'm gonna increase the dehaze a little bit to make things clearer. Then I'm gonna increase the clarity of the photo and a little bit of brightness. I believe it's a little bit dark. Some brightness will be good. I'm gonna press OK. Then again, I'm gonna jump to camera row filter. This time I'm gonna take the radial filter here on top. What this does is it allows you to target a specific point. So I'm gonna draw a circle here. So now I'm only targeting this point here in the middle and you can make adjustments to it. I'm gonna add some yellow in the middle. Because the image is like all water and blue, yellow is opposite of blue. So yellow and magenta a little bit to attract the eyes to the middle. Some clarity, some dehaze to make things clearer in the middle. A little bit of brightness, so plus 10 in the whites, plus 10 in the exposure, the complete brightness, and a little bit of contrast as you can see. And then I'm gonna press OK. You see now it's much clearer in the middle. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure you write them down below in the comment section. Also make sure you subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Thank you guys.